What I'm about to show you is a, is a dual gelation process. The first is the thermogelation, which is strictly driven by the temperature. So what we have is a, a cold polymer sitting a little below room temperature, so it's easy to handle. And when it gets increased up to body temperature, it undergoes a thermogelation, which is a hardening to encapsulate any potential stem cells or growth factors that might be incorporated. Uh, what we've also done is incorporated a secondary gelation component that stabilizes that gel and prevents it from breaking down after the primary gelation has occurred. And what's that, what that is driven by is by the other component, the initiator and the accelerator, which we will add immediately before we inject it into the mold. So what, what this platform offers is a way to inject uh, minimally, in a minimally invasive fashion into defects, especially in the craniofacial region, which was this designed for, and is, deliver stem cells or growth factors into this region that can help regenerate bone. The idea being that if you deliver these stem cells in, they can immediately start down an, uh, a lineage that will help them to produce bone, and this would accelerate the process, uh, especially in large defects where uh, traditional therapies such as harvesting from other places in the body are not really available because you really have a limited supply of other bone you can take from elsewhere in your body.